Okay, greetings everyone, this is First in 2753 with the next episode of Principia, Master of Science, playing as Isaac Newton. Mr. Newton is 27 years old, he's one of the youngest, I believe, uh, scientists in the game right now. We have published two papers, I don't think anyone else has published the papers, there's been some criticisms of the papers. And I'm not sure if I did a quick uh, view of the world here, they're uh, the cities and universities that you can travel to. Universities are marked by the uh, cap. These are observatories, and then there are two royal academies, or two academies of sciences, whatever, the uh, French Academy of Science and the Royal Society of London. That's where you can publish your papers. Um, mostly in Western European states. There's some down in Italy. Rome. I don't know why you would go to Rome. I'm assuming you could probably, like, get excommunicated or something down there. I don't know. Uh, it's not too long after, I think, 27 years since Galileo is when the game starts. Uh, down in Spain, you can't really visit any universities down there. Nothing of legitimacy. Uh, Denmark. Denmark and Norway. No Sweden. Stockholm does not have its prestige yet. The Ottoman Empire, there's no place to go there, and there's no place to go in Russia. But you can't go to Poland. But again, why you want to go to all these different cities, I'm not sure. Paris seems to be the best place, at least for me, because it has a university where I can get, attend lectures, and it also has an uh, observatory. I wonder if, I'm assuming if you go in, I know you can correspond with people, so maybe if somebody's in a different city, and there's also the different um, positions. Like, I did go to Amsterdam because there was a uh, an opening there that was actually, you didn't need as much fame. So you could probably get some, but the difference between Hanover and Magdeburg, you know, I don't know what that is really. So that, there's still stuff I need to learn about the game. Um, maybe there is no difference. But anyways, we're in Paris and uh, we are now a We're in Paris, and we are a lecturer at the University of Paris. Our income is $10 per month. We have theories, four different theories, two of which we are published on. One I am not going to publish, because this is incorrect. And if somebody does publish on in The Speed of Light Being Infinite, I might go ahead and just criticize it and see what happens. Because I haven't criticized anyone in this game. But light reaching past obstructions, I think I might end up publishing a paper there. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you can do is acquire items. And while I have two items right now, I have a prism, which helps with optics experiments, experiments and I have drawing instruments, which helps with mathematical experiments. Um, I would like to get some of the more expensive items. It will tell you which area you have an effect on them. The item has an effect on. So for optics, lens will give you even greater effect, but it costs 800, and we're almost there. One more turn. Uh, lens polisher will have the greatest effect. Of course, that is not as great as the mathematical calculator has in math. So, <clears throat> I do want to go into that arithmetic category. But our aptitude is in engineering. We have a B in engineering and 10 skill. There is a D in drawing. That's not good. So, I guess we could try to practice the drawing tools a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a calculation. We'll use the drawing tools and help us do a calculation in math. What is the impact here? Perplexing how multiplying a negative number by another negative number yields a positive. Huh. Calculation of arithmetic has increased by four skill in mathematics has gone up to 18. Okay, no discoveries there. But we're starting to explore another field, which is good. 
Another criticism of our paper on light refracting as it passes through an object. I'm getting a lot more criticisms in this game than I did in the other. I had no criticisms in the other. No one can seem to disprove this though. Criticisms are farcely inaccurate. Billions of the papers lost upon them. Very well. We don't trust uh, Mr. Huygens. He is not a member of the French Society. I think in the other game he did become a member of the French Society. I'd like to become a member of the French Society. That's my goal, I think. And you can also become a member of the French government. I wonder if I can do that as an Englishman. I guess we'll find out. So my theories are still holding. And I just, I should now have 800, yes. So now it's time to go ahead and buy. Um, a lens. We're gonna go ahead and buy a lens for 800 coin. It can refract light like a medium, like my theory. There we go. As it is a medium. So let's go ahead and conduct some experiments with that in the field of optics. Change. Back up. Ah, here we go. So we have a prism. Let's add a second apparatus. Let's add the lens and see. I've never combined two items because I actually ended up selling my prism in the other game so I could buy the lens. But when you sell stuff, it only goes at half price. Just FYI. So now we have greater effect overall. Should be greater effect overall. Plus six. And of course, I think our skill and our knowledge should help. Uh, let's see, I think we already discovered this. Experiment went up to 10. Skill in optics only goes up to two. I'll probably continue to experiment for a while until I get the next discovery in optics. Robert Hook, defame. His research is a flagrant plagiarism, nothing more. I shall issue a firm warning by way of a letter. Some of your research is illegitimate, appropriate to others' ideas. Is the illegitimate appropriation of others' ideas. If it is to continue, I will be compelled to take appropriate measures. Robert Hooke. What does that mean? How uncough he forgets that plagiarism is his specialty. Wow, we are not friends with Robert Hooke at all. And now we are lethargic. Fame of Robert Hooke has decreased by two. I have never been lethargic in this game. I've been uh, discouraged because my papers were rejected, but I've never had to deal with being lethargic. So uh, the best way to get rid of this is to rest. So let's take a month off. Been working hard. Got two papers published. Take a month off. Get rid of this lethargicism. That's a word. Can you get rid of it? All right, let's go ahead and uh, attend the lecture. I can't afford to attend a lecture, can I? No, I can't. Lacking the funds. So let's read a book. Should be relaxing. Let's read a book on mathematics. Spend our knowledge there. Knowledge of mathematics is up to 18. I had to take some time off.
All right, Jacob Bernoulli has uh, embarked on new research. <clears throat> I think this is just a new character now. Who we're competing with in the field of sciences. And the other thing about optics, there's only one other field to go into. And I'm not sure again what this is. Looks like a sun. Can't be heliocentric theory. That's already been discovered or postulated. Okay, so, we're still lethargic, I think, right? Yes. wonder how long it takes to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and conduct an experiment anyways. See what we can get out of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> FYI, uh, the game, when I downloaded it, started in this language, which I think is like Mandarin or Japanese or something. Um, I'm not sure. So, I think until you get rid of Lethargic or what the other one was. It looks like I can't experiment being Lethargic. That's killer. So, maybe I can, like... This is this is a part of, like, bigger strategies that I'm not familiar with yet. Losing some fame by defaming others... Uh, will slow them down, defaming your competitors, it looks like. But I think you can also disprove theories, like certain theories are just wrong. So if someone tries to publish a paper in, um, that's not the one. If someone tries to publish a paper in this category, then I could actually challenge it and be right. And it doesn't look like anyone is going in that direction. Because <clears throat> the only one, the only other competitor I have in optics or in this position of light is uh, Mr. Barrow here. And he seems to be slacking. He's composed the paper, but we beat him on that. He's got his geometry thing published. I don't know what he's been doing. Looks like his uh, knowledge and skill of optics have risen. His knowledge and skill in mathematics are also up. That's the geometry. Alright, so Newton is still lethargic, and he's hurting. So, I have the money to attend the lecture now. Go ahead and attend the lecture. In mathematics. This should give us a pretty good boost in the mathematics column. Same thing. Plus eight in the knowledge of mathematics. All right. And if I don't get rid of this lethargicism... Thank God. Okay. Now we're going back to experimenting. Oh, now the question is, did my fame go down at all? No, my fame remained the same because his... Uh, he doesn't have any weight with his criticism. So I didn't plagiarize on anyone. Whoa, don't, I almost clicked on end game. So what am I doing? Laboratory? Back to the experiments. Alright, I think we already had that discovery. Skills and optics are up. Experiment was up 10. So about ten, five more experiments and we'll be fully... <coughs> experiment. Maximized in optics or in the disposition of light. 
Let's try to conduct some... Well, this says I, uh, it would appear I need to conduct a further experiment. Let's go ahead and do it. We're getting through this pretty quickly. That is the same impact. Financial aid. Johans. I can't say his last name. That's nice. Get some money. It's always good to get some cash. He's the dependable man of character. Let's go ahead and accept. And we now improve, increase our will, goodwill between us. I guess when you are the member of a society, I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right, he's suggesting further experimentation. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't have any more. Pretty soon, we're not gonna need any more experimenting in uh, that field. Which means that we probably don't need the items. Once we have that, we could probably sell the items. May of 16, 1670. I'm going to try to reason just in case something comes up with this. I think we already had that, right? Oh, hold on a second. There it is. Nice. So we got a discovery through reason. It is unlikely I'll be able to eliminate chromatic aberration as long as I'm using a lens, but using a mirror would be an apt workaround. So now we can go for an invention. However, the inventions are tough to get and you need pretty good skills. And I don't think I have the skills right now. Financial aid, more financial aid coming along here. This guy seems to be really friendly with us. And that's all the way up to 70. Alright. Newton is saying he needs further experimentation. Let's go ahead and experiment some more. Experimentation is up to 100 and. Two skill and optics is up too. That's good. We need to increase the skills. Now he's suggesting further reasoning. So the mirrored telescope, not composed yet. Difficulty and importance. I could also go ahead and try to prove this theory. Okay, hypothesis seems to work out pretty well there. That theory is we're getting close to proving that theory. that maximized experimentation with four theories, one possible invention, two papers, both 
published, right? One thirteen and skill and optics is up to fifty. Skill is gonna help when we have to do those inventions. Okay, baseless conjecture on my light refraction paper again. A lot of people are criticizing this paper. At one point, I might want to stop uh, publication of it. Right now, it is still holding. And even Robert Hook has agreed. We're getting hit hard on that paper. But our credibility and our fame is not damaged. One more experiment, and I think we should maximize experimentation. Let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Okay, nothing new. Skill and optics is up to 51. More financial aid. Oh, this guy, this guy. He's criticized my paper. I'm gonna reject it. I've never rejected financial aid in the past, but I don't think I need it. It would not, it would be in, unconscionable to accept this offer. I am not so poverty stricken. I need not to stoop to doing so. Ha <laughs> ha. Shut him down. I don't know if that affects him at all. All right, so our experimentation in the field of optics is maxed out, which means I could probably sell these two things for something else. Something in maybe mathematics, I think. But that's going to be for another episode. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope you continue to like if you're watching. I'm if you're still watching, I'm assuming you do like it. So, if so please like the video. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. See you guys later.